So for this handwriting and note taking test on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, I will be looking out for accuracy at how well it can capture my handwriting and also if there's going to be any lag. So these two points will contribute to the overall writing experience. These are the five apps I'll be testing today. Let's start with Wacom Bamboo Paper, which is the app I was using earlier. This app is responsive. I don't notice any lag and it's able to capture my handwriting rather accurately. There is pressure sensitivity and palm rejection and both work well. This is a laminated display, so there is no gap between the glass and the actual screen beneath. The gap you see between the line and the pen tip, that's actually the thickness of the glass. Because of the laminated display when writing, it really feels like you're writing on the screen itself. There is no parallax. This is ink credible. The thin and thick lines you see are actually not from the pressure sensitivity. They are actually styles applied by the software. So the faster you write, the thinner the line. And if you write very slowly, the lines will be thick. This app is able to capture my handwriting really well and the way it applies the thin and thick lines it looks really natural. Next up, we have Squid, which is another fantastic app for taking notes. This app has pressure sensitivity as well. Now, not all apps will support pressure sensitivity, but all the apps will have palm rejection. That's because this stylus, the S Pen, it has palm rejection. As long as the pen tip is close to the screen, you see the cursor there, you get palm rejection. Some apps will give you the option to turn pressure sensitivity on or off. Squid is also able to capture my handwriting reasonably well. Now with the new S Pen that's provided with Tab S6, the black colored pen tip, that's the one with more friction. If you want less friction, if you want your pen tip to glide on the glass surface very smoothly, well, you can change to the white color pen tip that is also provided. The white tip is a bit too slippery for me though, but it's good for those who want to write really fast because it has almost no friction at all. And this is one note, the very popular handwriting app from Microsoft. There is pressure sensitivity and also palm rejection, of course. All the apps that I have tested, they are pretty responsive. I don't see much lag. Now, as I was drawing this stroke, you may see the gap between the line and the pen tip. But in real life, when you're taking notes, you're not going to see that gap because you're not writing so big. This new S Pen provided, this is not cylindrical like the previous one from the Tab S4. This is the one that I prefer because it's more comfortable to hold. Now this has two flat sides. All the edges are rounded off, but you can definitely see and feel the flat sides. The front of the pen, this part here, this is a bit big. So if you're holding the pen vertically, it may actually block off the pen tip. But if you're holding it slightly at an angle, you can still see the pen tip jut out, so not an issue at all. The previous pen with its more tapered uh, front end here allows you to see the tip more easily. This last app that I'm using is called Nable and it's able to convert handwriting into editable text and it can recognize handwriting quite accurately. Let's see how accurately this app is at reading my handwriting. So this letter B here, you see this is not closed, but it still managed to read it as B. And these three letters here, F, O, X, they are almost joined together, but the app was able to read it as Fox. And it has some problem here, T, H, E. So it read it as over B. So I need to erase this and write again. And now it's able to read it. So, yep. So it's pretty accurate. 
So we convert this into editable text. You just have to click here, click convert, and now you have editable text. And you can click this keyboard button here to go in and delete letters by letter. Nabo is a very useful app for those who want to search editable text. Almost forgotten about Samsung Notes. This is the default note-taking app provided in the tablet. This is very good at capturing handwriting as well. And just like Nabo, this can convert your handwriting into editable text as well. This is the text convert button. Once you click it, it will show you the editable text and it has managed to read my handwriting with 100% accuracy. So I can click convert here to convert this into editable text that can be searched as well. If you are looking for a tablet to take notes, well, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 with the pen, this is a fantastic combination. Unlike drawing apps on Android, which are not as polished compared to the iOS versions, the note-taking apps on Android, they are fantastic and fully featured. So I don't think you can go wrong with this tablet when it comes to taking notes or for handwriting. The only glitch I discovered was if you are using a case with magnets on the back, then the cursor will offset from the pen tip by quite a bit. So if you want to get a tablet case for the Tab S6, get those that snap onto the tablet or get those that don't have any magnets behind. Those flip case where there are magnets in front, it's okay because the magnet will go to this side, but avoid any magnets on the back of the tablet. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.